whoever fought for women to get jobs. Why? Why did we do that? I am so tired. I want to just put my feet up. Like, I am... Oh my god. This might be a little too real, but how do I tell my mother that even though I'm 20 years old, I've been working since I was 14, and I know I had to work. I've always had to work for the things that I want. I never got anything handed to me, but I'm 20 years old. I don't want to work anymore. I don't want to do that shit. I'm putting deodorant on because I'm sweating because I just walked up the stairs because I don't be doing any type of physical exercise. So, like, i just been laying in my house for like a week. I got fired from my job because I don't want to go. I don't want to show up. I'm yelling in, in silence because I can't yell. Because if I yell in my house, I get my ass break. So that's why I can't tell my mama that I don't want to work. Because you got to. You got to get up and go to work, girl. You're 20 years old. You got to go to work. You got to go to school. You got to do everything. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. And everybody I tell, they're like, just go apply for more. Shut up. I don't want to work anymore. Men and women have their traditional roles and they should stick to them. A man's success hinges on his embrace of masculinity, which goes out the window if he decides he'd rather identify as a woman due to some trendy influence. On the flip side, a woman's fulfillment lies solely in her feminine side, especially in the joy of raising her children and the moments shared with her family. But hold on, modern feminism has twisted this narrative to make traditional femininity and masculinity seem like weaknesses. According to this narrative, Women should be more like men, and men should be more like women. And guess what? Women are just miserable as a result. Sure, I'm all for women having the right to vote, work, earn, and pursue their careers, as well as live independent lives. But what I'm not here for is a society that teaches women to despise men, or suggests that their main purpose in life is to ignore their responsibilities by being feminine and happily investing in their families. Oh. And don't get me started on women who think they need to rack up a high score of sexual partners in their 20s to stick it to men for the actions of a few. While some men may still act like jerks, that doesn't mean women should stoop to their level. What began as a noble quest for equality has somehow morphed into a not-so-noble quest for dominance. Despite their claims of seeking equality, many modern feminist women seem more interested in controlling men. They want equality, but not the kind that requires the same amount of effort. They want equal pay for less work and a seat in the boardroom without the inconvenience of staying late due to a spa appointment. When women exhibit this behavior, they are essentially showing their anti-male awakening, wanting to ride the wave of success without the struggle. They compare themselves to high-achieving men who sacrifice their lives in competitive environments to provide for their families. The notion that modern women can thrive without men in society is a dangerous narrative. It falsely portrays how young women can achieve success without effort, which is misleading. Will these women take on the challenging, often dangerous jobs that men do to support their families? Or do they simply want to idolize and imitate CEOs without experiencing the full spectrum of challenges men face? It seems that feminists are pushing to redefine masculinity, promoting the idea that feminine men are the epitome of true manhood. They aim to feminize men to the point where they are afraid of engaging with women who are perceived as increasingly masculine. This agenda seeks to diminish the natural aggression that comes from masculinity, potentially harming young boys in the process, making them be more emotional, to cry, to get scared of little things, and to not act like a man at all. These women seem to overlook the repercussions of having a society where men are increasingly reluctant to engage with or pursue women. This trend towards feminizing men and masculinizing women might initially seem like progress, but it could leave women without suitable partners in the long run. Men, influenced by societal norms, may temporarily adopt more feminine traits. However, history shows that men naturally gravitate towards their innate roles and responsibilities. It is women who have historically faced challenges in finding their place. Eventually, men will reclaim their masculinity, realizing the distortion society has imposed on them. 
Women, persisting in their defiance of natural roles, may find themselves alone and unhappy as they age. It's crucial to highlight the negative impacts of modern feminism, which has deviated from its original goal of promoting women's rights. Instead, it seems to advocate for women to dominate men or maintain an anti-male stance. This modern feminism overlooks the inherent value of women as nurturers and caregivers with unique biological capabilities such as childbirth. These qualities set women apart and should be celebrated. However, current feminism seems to glorify a rebellious attitude, encouraging women to emulate the irresponsible behavior of some men from the past. It promotes the idea of women being inferior versions of men, rather than embracing their unique femininity and strengths. Today's anti-male feminists proudly boast about their extensive list of sexual partners, reveling in their lack of accountability for their own bodies and well-being. They actively seek to dominate and subjugate men, considering it a victory when they succeed. Ironically, they then wonder why men no longer approach them. This modern feminism not only advocates for equality, but seeks to establish female superiority. As Jordan Peterson aptly noted, modern feminists often generalize the behavior of a few men to condemn the entire male population, basing their ideology on this flawed logic. Consequently, many modern women flaunt high numbers of sexual partners as a badge of independence and a form of retaliation against a perceived historical oppression by men. In my view, contemporary feminism has deceived women, stripping away their true meaning and purpose and replacing it with a misguided ideology that ultimately leads to greater unhappiness. Just look at the women around you, both in your community and online, and you'll see what I mean. Feminism shoulders the blame for the sadness many women experience. While women may believe they're part of a movement that frees them from worries, in reality, it diminishes their value. Recent studies indicate that women who enter marriage as virgins are less likely to divorce, while those with multiple partners are more likely to do so. This trend highlights how promiscuity can erode loyalty and future relationship stability. Moreover, most men are not keen on forming long-term relationships with women who have a high number of past partners. The more someone indulges in something, the less they tend to value it. This principle applies to relationships as well. Numerous online videos depict women regretting their promiscuity and feeling lost in life as a result. I've emphasized this before, and I'll reiterate it. Men are naturally inclined to procreate, protect, and spread their seed, while women are naturally inclined to nurture, love, and raise children alongside their partners. These are fundamental, intrinsic aspects of each gender. Women have erroneously internalized an idea of inferiority due to a distorted narrative. They compare themselves to men in areas where they naturally differ, leading to a false sense of inadequacy. Unlike women, men do not typically yearn to bear children or take on the primary caregiving role, focusing instead on providing resources, income, and security for their families. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Support this channel through membership. You can also support through PayPal link in the description. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.